This video is a quick introduction to configuring an AEMC Power and Energy Logger, or PEL, through the DataView PEL control panel. The control panel is a component of DataView that you can choose to install during the DataView installation process. Before you begin, DataView with the PEL control panel must be installed on your PC. Your PEL instrument must also be connected to the PC through a USB, Bluetooth, or LAN network connection. The AEMC YouTube channel provides instructional videos that can help guide you through installing DataView and connecting your AEMC instrument to your PC. In this video, we perform a few basic configuration tasks, including setting the system clock on the PEL, choosing the distribution system the PEL is currently measuring, and scheduling a recording. To configure a PEL from the PC, open the PEL control panel by clicking its icon on your desktop. When the control panel interface opens, check the navigation tree frame to ensure that the PEL you want to configure is listed under PEL Network. If not, you will need to add the instrument now by choosing Add an Instrument from the Instrument menu. If the PEL is listed in PEL Network, ensure that a green check mark appears on its icon. This indicates that the instrument is currently connected to and communicating with your PC. If instead a red X appears on the icon, the instrument is currently disconnected. Connect it now by highlighting the instrument's name and choosing Reconnect Instrument from the Instrument menu. With your PEL instrument connected, click Instrument in the menu bar at the top of the screen and then select Configure. This displays the Configure Instrument dialog box. If you have the icon bar displayed, you can also initiate this dialog box by clicking the Configure icon. Note that when the Configure Instrument dialog box is open, Configuration mode on the PELS LCD display screen is disabled. If you attempt to configure through the display at this time, the word Lock appears and all configuration options are inactive. This prevents configuration conflicts caused by two users simultaneously attempting to configure the PEL, one through the PC and the other through the instrument itself. The Configure Instrument dialog box consists of five tabs. General provides information about the instrument, such as model and serial number. It also enables you to set other instrument options, such as the contrast and brightness levels on the PELS LCD display screen, the date and time of the PELS system clock, and others. Communication displays information about the three types of communication media supported by the instrument and enables you to set associated connection options. Measurement specifies the electrical distribution system, voltage ratios, nominal frequency, and current probe options. Recording defines various recording related options, such as session name, recording period, and other settings. With this tab, you can start a recording on the PEL immediately or schedule one for the future. Meters determines which of the instrument's total accumulation meters are to be reset when the configuration is written to the instrument. Notice the Help button at the bottom of all Configure Instrument dialog box tabs. This button opens the control panel's online help system with explanatory text for the current tab displayed. The first thing we want to do is set the date and the time on the PEL. To do this, Open the General tab and click the Set Clock button. The Date Time dialog box appears. This dialog includes two fields that enable you to select the date and the time for the PEL system clock. You can also click the Synchronize with the PC Clock button to have the PEL date and time synchronized with the PC. After you are finished specifying the date and the time, click OK. A message appears informing you that the control panel is reading the new settings to the PEL. When the PEL has been configured, you are returned to the control panel. Note that you cannot change clock settings if the PEL is currently recording data. When the PEL is recording, the Set Clock button is grayed out. Stop the recording to activate this option. Next, we will select the electrical distribution system, or hookup, to which the PEL is currently connected. To do this, Click the Measurement tab. At the top of the tab is the Distribution System drop-down field. 
This lists all the types of distribution systems supported by the PEL. In our example, we will select three-phase, four-wire balanced. So we will navigate to this option and highlight it. Notice that the illustration to the right of the drop-down box immediately changes to reflect the new choice. In a real-world measurement, we would complete the other options available on this tab as appropriate. But for demonstration purposes, we will accept the defaults as displayed and click OK to save the settings to the PEL. Finally, we will start a recording on the instrument by clicking the Recording tab. The first step is to assign a name to the recording session in the Name field at the top of the tab. This name can be up to 40 alphanumeric characters in length. The next step is to schedule the time and duration of the recording. You can set a recording immediately by clicking Record Now, or schedule a recording by choosing this option and then completing the four fields that define the start date and time and end date and time. If you select Record Now, you can specify the length of the recording through the Duration drop-down box. This presents a number of options from 8 hours up to 5 weeks. You can also choose No Limit, which results in the recording running until you manually stop it, either through the control panel or through the Pell instrument itself. While a recording is in progress, the button Stop Recording appears on the Recording tab. This enables you to stop the recording immediately. Notice the bar at the bottom of the screen labeled Install SD Card Status. This indicates how much memory has been filled on the PELS SD memory card. If this bar shows that there is little or no available memory on the card, you may need to delete one or more stored recording sessions to complete the current recording. After you have completed changing settings, click the OK button at the bottom of the Configure Instrument dialog box. This writes any outstanding configuration changes to the PEL and returns you to the main control panel interface. This concludes our brief introduction to configuring a PEL instrument from the PEL control panel. In this video, we have discussed only a few very basic configuration tasks you can perform. Many more configuration features are available as explained in detail in the online help that comes with the PEL control panel. Be sure to check our YouTube channel for additional instructional videos explaining how you can use DataView features with AEMC instruments.